Welcome everyone, this is Lewis, and right now you are watching Timeless Sight Trails. And right now, here at the Jungle Land by Lewis Gavel. Right now, we are located 8 miles south from Moor Park and 10 miles north of the Malibu coastline and east of Hidden Hills' beautiful cities. So I was going around here, I saw this place that was really interesting to me because I never heard about this place since I just came right now at this location. I just thought it was a beautiful day to be filming, looking at the beautiful trees and the plants and everything. I'm more like a nature person, you know, like an old soul going around in places that a lot of people don't even think to go off, but let's go. On this site, Luis Gebel opened one of the Southern California most popular tourist attractions. In 1925, Gabriel purchased five lots for 50 bucks, so they were pretty cheap around here. You know, this area, you're lucky if you get it for five million. Along the Ventura Boulevard, which later became the Thousand Oaks Boulevard, this land has formerly belonged to the Newberry and Crowley family. For years later, he established the Gabriel Lion Farm with seven lions and few smaller animals. He rent out the animal out of the movie studios. When Gabriel noticed that the traveler along the highway began to stop and looking at the lions, he saw an opportunity to create a tourist attraction and soon added other exotic animals to his farm, which the help of well-known animal trainers such as the Marvel Starks, the world's only woman tiger trainer at the time, because remember, mostly are males during that time training. Gavel began presenting shows for visitors Leo and Lion, famous for his roar and beginning for the Metro Golden Major movies. July 31st, 1928, 83 years ago today, the day a famous movie actor found his voice. For that was the day audiences actually heard Leo, the MGM lion, roar for the first time. He'd started out a few years earlier as a silent lion for Goldwyn Pictures. When Goldwyn combined with Metro Pictures and Louis B. Mayer to form Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer in 1924, Leo became the merger mascot, as big in his own way as his studio's human stars. Greta Garbo may have wanted to be alone, but here she is side by side with Leo in this 1925 publicity shot. At least five different lions have played the part of Leo over the years, each with his own distinctive roar and hairstyle. Collectively, they introduced many of the most memorable films of Hollywood's heyday. You have to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. They have a little bridge right here going on. In other productions was a special attraction. Later, Gario at a restaurant and his business became popular and placed to go in the Southern California in 1945. Gavel sold his profitable amusement park under a new ownership and the name was changed to the World Jungle Compound several years later, again with a different owner. The property was named Jungle Land. Wow. So this place is beautiful. So this is like the monument where they leave the roots and they did like a uh, living time capsule as well. Right here, I don't know when they're gonna open that. I don't know if it says anything, I'm gonna read right now. Cool. So it says here, a living time capsule, a time capsule if it hands beneath the bench below. So that bench right there. Especially oak tree in Moundscape Relief with the time of the capsule, the roots of our lives. It is filled with documents and artifacts reflective of the city of Thousand Oaks. So rich historical heritage and current public and private activities. 
So it's just a time capsule that they put back in October of 1994. There's two of them and contains fill and seal. The capsule are not gonna be able to release beneath 2064. So that is pretty cool. They have a time capsule right here. So it just says about a time capsule and so on. I mean, oh, and this is a time capsule here. So I guess they're gonna be digging it out from there. No one else had a Gavio touch the operating the business. However, the eventually he repurchased it in 1961. The movie stars such as Kurt Gable, Johnny Hillsworth came to have their pictures taken beneath the chimps and elephants. People flock to the jungle land, take a picture of their children and animals. So he was a member of the first chimp of Cameron stage on the show to raise money to build the first church finish with all the water to construct the Ventura freeway to the Canyon Valley and build the first fire station. Govio property was the first to receive a natural gas in the Cajon Valley in the late 1960s. The popularity of the jungle land began to decline because the new Ventura freeway route travelers around. Oh, that's a pretty cool bunny. It's just a whole bunch of different structures around here and City Hall and Chimero Combrance. It's a beautiful place just to walk around and scroll around. Instead, directly the path of the animal compound in 1969, after 43 years of history as one of the world's top animal trainers, center, zoo, and amusement park. Django closed its gates. They were closed forever after 1969 for a good of 1800 animals were sold in auction. The rocks of which the wall is made are part of the wall that was located in the jungle land, a wild animal park that previously exists at this site. Please refer to a larger block for the brief of history of information for the jungle land. That is pretty cool. So this is what they actually use for the jungle park. This is very nice. So there's more about the rocks that he made the whole jungle. It says that the site was here and I guess this is all what they have. I mean, this is this is all what it belongs to the jungle site. Jungle theme park, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty cool though, I think. This is different. I mean, people pass here all the time. As you can see, there's a troll here, but they're not gonna come and see what is this. This is already like more than 50 years ago that happened. Uh, or more, I think. I don't think people are gonna come over here and, and look who's Louis Govell and the story of his jungle site. But he had a lot of animals during the time. It was pretty famous because of that. And you know, when they did the freeway on the other side of this, a lot of people don't have a need no more to rescue place, I guess, or animal park. It's a great place, I'm not gonna lie. It's beautiful just to come by. They have a lot of picnic tables over there. They have a lot of shops as well that way. This is the jungle where the location where the jungle, Louis Govell was doing his shows. I just thought it was really interesting that Marvel Starks was the first female in the 1930s to make this a reality. Interesting of training tigers and lions. And other is that Leo the lion was actually chosen from this place of captivity with Louis Gable. Pretty cool because uh, one of the most renowned lions that we had in our movie theaters during the time even now. And among the other animals at the jungle land were at the Metro Golden Major mascots and props for movies. Louis Gabel actually he lived up to 84 years old and the attraction was from 1925 to 1969. And I also believe that the movie Tarzan the Ape Man in 1932 started Johnny Wismurger was filmed also there and hired the animals for the film. The day that I went there, it was really serene. Not a lot of people go there, especially on a weekday. I think that is a good scroll to for you to go at the historical monument. It has a lot of history and it's a great place to go with your loved one. To just crawl around around the park and enjoy around that it was once one of the best zoos back of the 19th. 30s.
This is The Jungle Land by Lewis. This is Timeless Side Trails. And please subscribe. And remember, all my links are down below. And remember, I'm a real estate agent in California. And thanks for watching. Till next one. Bye.